Well, good morning. It is Saturday morning, July 13th. I'm going to do a little woods walking this morning, see if I can find some mushrooms, and see if I can find some snakes, and just anything else interesting I can find. And the sun is already feeling a little hot, even though it's only about quarter to seven in the morning. But I'm going to get out there and try to beat the heat. And we'll see what I can find. Check out these guys. These guys are the uh, gem studded puffballs. Yeah, I don't know if that'll come out, but they got these little, little uh, sort of spiky looking things on them. And these are past their prime, they're going to spore already, which means they'll probably puff out their spores. I'm gonna puff them, I'm gonna squeeze them. Uh, but when they're young and fresh, they're edible. They're just not one of the tastiest, really. I mean, they're, they're not bad. They're just not very flavorful. But we eat them now and then. And right up here, we also got some chanterelles. No, oh, they're not chanterelles. I take that back. They actually have gills. These are probably a lactarius mushroom. Probably lactarius volemus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But they're old and dry as well. So I hope that's not a sign of uh, things to come today, everything being too old already. First herp of the day. I always end up seeing these guys when I'm walking through the woods. Three toed box turtle. See how many of them I find today. Walking through some thick brush, I just saw something moving on my shoulder. I don't know if I can capture it. Look at that guy. Looks like part of the stick. Some more of those gem studded puffballs here. They're a little fresher than the other ones were. Still a little too soft and squishy for eating. They gotta be nice and firm. These are good size ones. They don't get a whole lot bigger than that before they start going to spore, which these are just about to. <laughs> a leopard frog under a rock. There's a pretty little bolete. I'm not sure exactly what variety it is, but I'm just gonna leave it to get bigger. It's only it's only that size and they get pretty big. Got a little bitty slimy salamander. They get pretty big, but that's a, a real small one. Well this is kind of fascinating to me. I'm I'm walking a very rocky you know, sort of bluff area with a lot of rock outcroppings, uh, a lot of cedar trees. Um, kind of looking more for snakes right now, and then I'll hit what I consider to be more mushroomy area. But there are a number of, uh, it's like little bull eat mushrooms growing right out of the, right out of the face of this rock bluff here. Where are we at here? There's one. Big one right there. I just don't know if I've ever seen that before. Doesn't seem like there would be enough material for mushrooms to grow in there, but what do I know? A little closer look. Going right out of the moss and out of the cracks. <laughs> Very interesting. Just found some more. Well, they didn't get very big. There's some snails probably feeding on them. All 
Alright, we'll see if this comes out. There's a, a leopard frog back there. Can't tell if it's focusing on him or not, but. Another herp, some sort of aquatic turtle. Can't tell from here what it is. This is a pretty awesome little area where I'm in right here. Deep, deep in a ravine. This little stream that flows into the lake down there. And just found some wood nettle. This is wood nettle. It's uh, related to stinging nettles. It does sting, just like the stinging nettles. Um, and like the stinging nettles, it's also edible and very nutritious. So I'm probably going to do a video, just an informative video specifically on wood nettle. Um, I just figured I'd point it out. Look at those guys. This is the uh, commonly called the wood ear or jelly ear mushroom. Um, auricularia auricula. Man, this has got some huge ones. They're a little old. What the size of that? Big as my hand. They're a little too old for eating. Some of these younger, fresher ones wouldn't be necessarily. There's some young, fresh ones right there. I mean, this thing's got this old stump of a dead tree. It's got all kinds of fungus growing out of it. These are one of the few wild mushrooms that are actually safe to eat raw if you just kind of clean of any dirt or debris that's on it they're uh, flavorless so don't expect them to taste like anything there's three toed box turtle number two found a fawn mushroom grows from wood has a uh, salmon, salmonish pink colored spores. It's a small one. I'm probably not going to take it, even though it's an edible. This is one that you do have to be careful with because there's other brown mushrooms that grow on trees. Very dangerous. But uh, I do have a video out there on them if you want to learn more. I'm just going to leave this one because I haven't collected any mushrooms yet and I don't want to really break out my mushroom bag and carry it just for one little fun. Once I find some chanterelles, then if I come upon one, I might take it. So I just turned the camera off. There's that fawn. I was going to sort of look behind the bark on this tree. See if I could find any snakes hiding out. But look at that guy. Okay, it's time to get the mushroom bag out. I'm in a more of a mushroomy part of the woods now. And just found my first chanterelle. Get my knife out. It's a little one. Not even a smaller one yet there. I think I'll just leave. I see some bigger ones over there, but real quick. These little guys are called the scarlet cup mushroom. It's a real small one. They do get a little bit bigger than this, but you know, there's a couple that are kind of dried up. Anyway, they're not, there's two varieties here in Missouri at least. There's the, the regular scarlet cup and then the stalked scarlet cup. It has a little more of a stalk on it. I don't remember the scientific names. But uh, they're not listed as edible in any of the field guides. But I know that some people do eat them. I've seen videos on it. Some people take them and put them in soups. And it's one that I haven't tried because they're not supposed to be edible, but maybe they actually are. Anyway, I know these are. It's a nice looking shant right there. This is the smooth chanterelle, no ridges on the underneath. There's a mushroom that I love finding. Partially because they're just so cool looking. And partially because they're edible when they're fresh, but this one is not. This one is very much past its prime. 
as if you can see it has pores on the bottom Hope that's focusing I'm gonna try it in the sunlight I don't know which one will come out better but, uh, so it's part of the Bolete family but it's it's called old man of the woods and it's a very good edible one for us this one is way old well I've been coming across the chanterelles here and there I haven't been showing you all of them but I just came across a little spot where there's a bunch of them I just figured I'd show a few some small ones some bigger ones that one there this looks like maybe a little cluster of them under the leaves or well, either that is one big one oh, it looks like one big one it's a nice size one and it's hard to hard to get the light right when it's like a mix of sun and shadows more good size. Here's a really young old man of the woods. I already showed you one of these. That's what they look like when they're just starting to sprout out. I'm gonna go ahead and take it even though it's really small. Pretty cool. Here's an indigo milky. I showed a couple of these on my last video. I don't know if anybody's watched that. But this one's too far gone. It's not good for eating. The stem is all eaten out. But I just wanted to show the inside of it a little bit. That yeah, nice blue flesh. And it's much brighter and nicer when it's fresh. This thing's just completely bug eaten. Look at that nice cluster. A few others here. Let me just see how many this actually is. There's one good size one there. Yeah, that one kind of broke. We've got quite a few here just growing together as a cluster. Or else we'll do, so, do that sometimes. Not always. Not that often, actually. So that all right there is just that one cluster. That's a single one there. Very nice. I like to look in these rock crevices for snakes. There's yet another. Let's see if I can get back in there. Another leopard frog. Just chilling back in there. Second time I've seen that today. All right. This is a good size old man of the woods. The first one I found was too old. The second one too young. Although I took it anyway. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just small. This one looks like it'll be just right. They kind of look closed like that when they're young. As they open up, you can kind of see the pores inside there. All right. Free toad box turtle number three. Here are some more fawn mushrooms. The one I showed earlier. These have sawdust all over the top of them from whatever's eating this tree. Some older ones there. Spores are already getting a little pinkish. The gills, rather, which comes from the spores, of course. I don't think I'm going to take these. They are edible. They're not one of the choice edibles. But, uh, I'm just going to leave him. This time it's a toad hanging out in a crevice. Number four, I think. Pretty sure that's four. And this looks like a nice specimen of a. Voluminous latex milky. 
Lactarius volumus. Yeah, it's in good shape. It's a good edible. I'm gonna take it. Just found a little western worm snake. First snake of the day, finally. There you are. There's a nice looking little brown snake. Under that piece right there, on this rock pile. Alright, so here's what I got this time. Uh, two old man in the woods. This is the only uh, Lactarius volemus that I kept. And the rest are chanterelles. You know, I, uh, I was supposed to be back by a certain time and totally lost track of what time it was. So when I realized that I had to really hoof it back to the car uh, to get here so my wife could go to what she was going to. And man, I went by tons of mushrooms on the way back on the path that would have been good <laughs> for, for picking, but I had to just pass them by. But good to know they're there. All right, not a lot in the way of snakes today again, but we got some herps in there. So thanks for watching.